I'm an expert plus one. All right, folks, so today we're gonna solve a double intervals problem. Uh, hopefully that'll give you some Calc 3 practice. And um, I'm, uh, I'm heading over to my lab. I'm driving over in our Tesla. So uh, in the meantime, get your pens, papers, uh, and notebooks ready so you can solve the problem along with me. If you have a tea or coffee, uh, you can also go ahead and grab that. Alright folks. Right, folks, today we're going to solve yet another double integral problem. Let's go ahead and check out the problem. The problem is as follows. Find the double integral over the region D of x plus 2y dA, where the region D is defined as follows. It is the region between 2x squared and x squared plus 1. So the first thing you want to do in these problems is visualize the region. What does our region D look like? That's why we're going to check out the whiteboard. So in the whiteboard, let's go ahead and write down our problem once more. We have the double integral over the region D of x plus 2y dA. And we're integrating over the following region. Our region is D where our area is between 2x squared and x squared plus 1. Okay, so what does our region look like? So the first thing you want to do is plot out the xy plane, right? Here's your x, here's your y. What does 2x squared look like? That's just going to be slightly compressed version of x squared. So here's 2x squared, 2x squared. And what does x squared plus 1 look like? Well, it looks something like this. It looks like x squared, but it's shifted up by one unit. So this is x squared plus one. Slightly exaggerated just to show the area in between these two. So the area, the region that we're working over is this, this region over here, R, okay, or D or whatever. This is your region, the area between two x squared and x squared plus one. Now the first thing you wanna do is find out what these two x coordinates are. What's the x coordinate of the intersection here and the x coordinate of the intersection here. So the x-coordinate of the intersection here and here is going to be given by the solution to their, to their, um, to their e equation. So we're going to solve, we're going to set these two guys equal to each other. 2x squared is equal to x squared plus 1. So x squared is equal to 1. So x is plus minus 1. So that means this x value here is 1. This x value here is negative 1. And so now we know the bounds for our x-coordinate. Our x... The limits of integration for x is going to be between negative 1 and 1. And for y, the limits of integration is going to be between 1 and 1. Well, imagine you're an ant going all the way up, up, up. What's the first function you hit? You hit this lower function. And what is that function? That's 2x squared. Imagine you keep going up, 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 up. What's the second function you hit? You hit x squared plus 1. So that's going to be the limits of integration for your y variable. Now that we know the limits of integration for both our x and y variable, we can set our markers down, head to the blackboard, and start integrating. So let's go ahead and write down our double integral again. So x plus 2y, and you can do dy dx or dx dy, doesn't really matter. Let's do dy dx. Now, because we're doing dy dx, we have to remember the limits of integration for our y variable. So let me go ahead and uh, pick a blue marker. So for our x and y, what are our limits of integration? Remember for x, as I wrote down on the whiteboard, our limits of integration were between negative 1 and 1. And for y, our limits of integration were between 2x squared and x squared plus 1. Let me check the whiteboard. And yes, those, those are our limits of integration, as you can see right from here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and integrate. The limits of integration for y are between 2 x squared and x squared plus 1 and for x are between negative 1 and 1. Now we can go ahead and start integrating as follows. So let's first integrate with respect to y so that's going to give us x y plus plus half 2 y squared. So let's go ahead and remember that we're integrating from y is equal to 2 x squared and y is equal to x squared plus 1 dx remember we have an outer integral here from negative one to one okay so now let's observe that our 
let's uh, use purple here, half and two cancel out. So we're left with what? XY plus Y squared. So now all you have to do is substitute, right? For Y is equal to these two values. So let's do that. X times, instead of Y, Uh, the only thing that we should remember is we have to plug in x squared plus 1 first. So I'm going to put the minus sign over here and keep adding. So now let's go ahead and evaluate this. Remember also that you have another integral from negative 1 to 1 to, uh, with respect to x. So now let's go ahead and finish this off on the right hand side. x times 2x squared is going to give us 2x cubed plus 4x to the fourth. Okay, uh, and we're going to subtract this from x cubed plus x, x cubed plus x, uh, plus x to the fourth, x to the fourth, plus 1, plus 2x squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And remember, we have another integral with respect to dx over here. So we're going to have what? We're going to have uh, x cubed, x cubed. Uh, plus x plus x to the fourth plus 1 plus 2x squared minus 2x cubed minus 4x to the fourth dx and we're integrating that with respect to x from negative 1 to 1 and so now we're going to be left with what we'll be left with uh, minus let's start from 1 we'll be left with 1 plus 2x squared plus uh, minus x cubed minus 3x to the 4th dx from negative 1 to 1 and now we have arrived at the last and final stage so integrate all of these variables integral of 1 with respect to dx is x plus 2 over 3 x cubed minus uh, 1 over 4 x to the 4th minus 1 over 5 minus 3 over 5 thirds x cubed minus one fourth x to the fourth minus three fifths x to the fifth from minus one to one so what are we going to do now well we have uh we're going to plug in one over here so that's going to be one plus a half plus two thirds minus a fourth minus three fifths and from this we're going to subtract this whole expression when we plug in negative one so let's plug in minus one that's going to give me minus one here that's going to give me plus half again, and minus two-thirds, and minus one-fourth, and plus three-fifths. Okay, so now let's do our magic. This is going to become plus one, minus a half, plus two-thirds, plus one-fourth, minus three-fifths. And on our left side, we have one plus a half, plus two-thirds, minus a fourth, minus three-fifths. Now this is just subtraction. Half minus a half cancels out. Uh, let's see, minus one fourth and a fourth cancel out. And what are we left with? One plus one uh, is going to give us two. And two thirds plus two thirds is going to give us four thirds. And minus three fifths minus three fifths is going to give us six minus six fifths. And so if we go ahead and simplify this, what are we going to get? We're going to get, uh, multiplying this by 15, I'll have 30 uh, plus 20 minus 18 over 15. So what is this going to be? 30 plus 20 is 50 minus 18 is 32 over 15. And so what is our final answer? If I have space to write it left, our final answer is 32 over 15. Thank you folks for watching this episode and remember it was sponsored by Brilliant.org. If you want to keep supporting Barry Science Lab, head over to BarrySciencelab.org. Ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. Excuse me. We believe anyone can learn yeah, anything. Can that's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant.
Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love with math and science. science.